Sayu time. Of course, first, a farming montage. Boom tink, boom tink, boom tink, boom tink, ding doom, bum, booty, boom. And there we go. All Inazuma characters are now 90. One quick thing is uh, raising her talents a little bit higher. Uh, I guess when we're talking about four stars, they should be 11. And there we go. So we have her burst in E. We're keeping her basic at one probably because I don't think I'm going to be using it. It's honestly been a while since I've used Sayu, so I probably need a little bit of a refresher here. So she's a little bit like Chi Chi in that she scales off of attack. I'm basically just trying to figure out how we're going to build her. We have since also gotten her to C6, so that changes a little bit because Elemental Mastery will benefit her a lot more than just how it used to with her healing, I believe. Yeah, 1.2 extra HP per Elemental Mastery, which really doesn't sound like... Well, I mean, actually it can add up if you give her a lot of Elemental Mastery every swirl healing your characters for like over a thousand hp i think before we try like full elemental mastery build though we're probably going to go something like uh dps just because i want to try it maybe building her like shao two-piece animo two-piece uh, gladiator or whatever other attack set there's a lot in the meantime shimanawa echoes vermilion so yeah i think something like this is what we're going to start out with we got the two-piece viridescent two-piece vermilion attack and animo damage well i don't think it's super necessary to stack as much attack as possible we are are gonna at least start with Wolf's Gravestone. We can maybe check out Red Horn Stone Thresher as well. Attack, Animo, crit damage. Little low on crit rate, but I think it's not too bad. We have 138 Elements Mastery, so at least not not nothing. Maybe a little low on energy recharge as well. Of course, we're gonna try her more as a healer as well. Maybe we can even try giving her Clam Set to see if uh, her healing can do some good stuff quickly. But yeah, here she is, uh, rolling around in a ball. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or something. I think we're going to try something like this. I would go Kaya or Kaya or however he's called, but uh, he's level 40 still. Ganyu has a pretty long-lasting AoE. Of course, it won't follow us, but it's pretty massive, so we'll try it. Also, and while we are just kind of building her as a DPS, I still do think probably 4-piece VR doesn't would be better for Sayu in general, because unlike Shao, there should be some useful swirls going on. So yeah, we went ahead and did that. Her stats actually didn't change much. We did lose a little bit of crit rate, but it's not really much different. So I'm not even really sure what to try, but let's Let's roll over onto that ley line there. Let's just see what she can do by herself. Um, oh yeah, someone suggested that I just have this on top down and just roll around them. Actually not doing a horrible amount of damage, I think. Oh yeah, almost killed the Whopper Flower. It did take the entire duration of it, but you know, still. How about uh, her burst healing? 12k? All right, I'm actually pretty surprised. And then 7k? 7k per uh, little tick there. Definitely not bad, although it seems to have like sort of stopped hitting at one point. I don't know if there's like a certain number of enemies it can hit. Uh, but let's go ahead and do uh, the uh, whole setup here. I think the mage will probably die before Sayu does anything, but yeah, so here we go. We can just kind of roll around with everything going on. Um, yeah, didn't see anything really. We'll have to try that again. Let's just see what a kick tap does. 6,500, although that was not a critical. I'm, I, I want to try that again. Kaboom. 17k. Actually, a good amount of damage for having no, no buffs or anything right now. Boom. 15k. Actually, actually kind of crazy. Just going to roll around him. You don't have a 360 shield. Get deleted. To Whoa, 28. Yeah, that's right. I think one of our constellations... Uh, bumps the damage a lot, depending on how long she's rolling. Uh, so yeah, that was that was basically max damage. Although it'd probably be pretty hard to have that like still within Binny's boost or something, because it doesn't last quite that long. Also, I can't believe I didn't think of Sayu while I was doing my artifact speed runs last week. I'm sure she could have shaved off probably ha a half a second with her rolling. That's got to be faster than the underground walkers. Oh, but she can get interrupted. I imagine she does have some sort of uh, resistance to interruption while rolling, but she still can get interrupted. I saw Wolf's Gravestone proc there. Let's see. 33k. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it takes a long time to get to that level. Let's go ahead and just do Benny boost and Sayu uh, boost. Sayu burst. And I think it only hits one enemy at a time, it seems. Too bad you can't roll over water though. All right, let's see maximum kick damage in Binny Boost. Hopefully we did it fast enough. Please be a critical. 39? Was that quick enough? I can't really imagine it was because it was barely stronger. Well, we got a good amount of enemies here. Let me just go ahead and uh, get everyone's stuff going. 
And then uh, we're gonna be rolling around with Sayu here. Whoops, meant to hold that. There we go. For like two seconds, we can see some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> I'm about to kick you into the Shadow Realm. Boom. I think I did this for the Raising Sayu as well, and I eventually came to the conclusion that I probably wouldn't actually use her as a DPS. She definitely can do some pretty solid damage, but I think, yeah, she definitely has more utility as a support slash healer or whatever. Still wish we could jump while a ball. That would be cool. When you're getting stuck on tiny little things like this, her movement kind of, the novelty of it, goes away pretty fast. One thing we couldn't do in the raising mode was really try a, like a full elemental mastery build because she wasn't C6. I think that could definitely be a very solid idea. The only character I really have built like this is Kazuha, so I'm probably just going to take his set piece for piece. Also built with Viridescent, so that of course helps. Do we even have any elemental mastery great swords? Yeah, Rain Slasher though. Mm. And I would have to raise it. I mean, maybe I would at some other date if I really thought she'd be like a permanent part of my team or something. Of course, create crit damage is, is not very important anymore. She still has a good amount of attack at 2258. So with 760 elemental mastery, let's uh, let's do a little bit of math, see what uh, kind of bonuses we are getting. So we'll get a damage boost by the Muji Muji Daruma, which I believe is her burst, the little dude. 0 0.2 per elemental mastery adds up to 152% attack. A max of 400%, I don't see how that's gonna be possible ever, but all right. And then three extra HP per element of mastery. And for us, that'll be 2280. So 2280 extra HP per tick. That's actually quite a lot. I got a little bit worried here because it seems like she can't heal and attack opponents at the same time with her burst, but C1 completely solves that, so yeah. And besides her C6, she also heals more with her first passive here. 1.2 extra per element mastery, so I guess around 900 or so extra from our 760. But all right, I think with all those bonuses, she doesn't necessarily need to have like healing bonus or whatever in circlet. Uh, I think she'll be able to heal enough without. But let's put that theory to the test, shall we? So I've hurt my team quite a bit. We're gonna try and get some swirling in there, see what uh, just the swirl stuff does here. So she is fire now. Um, you can see them healing actually quite a bit. Over there, Shanling, Benny. Benny has 20k, I think Shanling only has 10. She might not be built really right now. But yeah, definitely healed quite a bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out her burst here in this ley line. Let's just throw it over on these guys. Uh, so yeah, it is uh, healing. It healed everyone with, with 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 the first one, and now it's healing individual characters, I believe. Uh, unless it's swirling, then it heals everyone. Probably will have to do that one again, honestly, because I couldn't tell if some of those were swirl heals. So yeah, to make it more clear, I just want one of my characters to be almost dead, and then I guess Sayu is a little bit dead as well, but that doesn't really matter. Does it heal only the active character or any character? Eh, it seems to only heal the active character. Yeah. That makes sense, but it heals a lot, 6,600. So considering that amount of healing, I think Clamset would actually be viable. The problem is I didn't run that domain super often and I highly doubt I have a Clamset with a lot of elements of mastery. Yeah, we have 17 total. No goblet sands or circlets that have elements of mastery as the main stats. So that's definitely not gonna work, I would say, but that that would probably be pretty interesting. I think Shanling's good now. I've actually been using her a lot lately. I should probably 90 her soon as well. <laughs> Suppose we're gonna just try floor 12 here. I still haven't really gotten to see a good Sayu ball surrounded by Pyronado and Ganyu Burst. Again, would kind of prefer Kea because it follows around and that's useful, but yeah, level 40. I'll get around to raising him one day. Alrighty then, so we do have a bit of an AoE situation here. Let's just go ahead and start with everyone's burst, I suppose. Um, get Shanling in there. We'll go ahead and drop Sayu's burst down as well before we start rolling around. And uh, there we go. So we can kind of have it top down as well. Um, I'm not really seeing a ton going on here, and her E is gone. I'm not sure about the exact effects of this pyro thing, but if it gives them some kind of resistance, that could be a reason why um, it, it didn't turn out super well. But uh, yeah. yeah, I have a feeling it must give them some resistance because Benny is doing 1600. That is insanely low. Yeah, perhaps this wasn't the best place to try this, but let's just give it another shot, I suppose. I mean, they are all in this sort of Ganyu area, so... Um, her E is, doesn't seem to be lasting as long as it should, but maybe we're getting interrupted. This team also lacks energy recharge like crazy, so they're obviously not optimized together, but like, I'm just trying to see the synergy here. So here we have another AoE situation. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing we did before. Pop everyone's burst real quick while in Benny ring, and then just start rolling around, seeing what we can do here. Oops, maybe that's what I was doing. 
I was uh, doing her dash to try and get to places faster. Uh, just out of habit, but um, yeah, that kind of breaks her out of the thing as well. I mean, we killed 12 enemies in that short time, so definitely not bad, I would say. No Shondling Burst. We did we did get some Pyro. Yeah, it's way less impressive without Shondling Burst, <laughs> uh, obviously. But all right, I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Um, still kind of the same conclusions as I came to last time. Better suited as a support. I don't think I ever really paid attention to the numbers she was doing now that she's built with Elemental Mastery though. So we're gonna try this again. Um, basically I guess just gonna place Benny Burst and look at Sayu's damage numbers from her burst now that, that she has built like, like this. I did see a 9k. 9k? I don't know if those are criticals, but yeah. 16k. Um, I'm, I kind of forgot if that was more or less impressive. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit unfortunate that she can basically only hit one at a time. Uh, I do see that it has a little bit of AoE on it, but um, not a ton. So unless they're all like jumbled together, she's basically going to be hitting one at a time. But yeah, I would say definitely element to mastery, at least at C6, because the damage from her burst doesn't seem much different. And of course, it heals you more. Her rolling swirls heals you as well. Uh, so yeah, just seems like you have pretty much the best of both worlds. Basically, it's just that her kick won't do as much damage uh, when built like this, but I think that's a fair trade. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you have some additional uh, thoughts or tips regarding Sayu, feel free to drop them down there. Uh, I could revisit her once I raise Kea, because that's kind of the main thing I was hearing when I first raised her, is that do Shodling and Kea, because you know, they could just, roll around with all that stuff going on and yeah i kind of tried that just with ganyu instead uh, and it was pretty cool pretty nice anything else feel free to drop it down there also leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well thanks as always for watching and until next time